Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks. Sampler V Series V's I've been doing for the wine. I'll go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, and folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks. I'm not going to lie. I'm doing this one because I couldn't do another review. I tried, and I'll get into that, but yeah, this is the, this is like the, uh, you know, this is my secondary, my backup review, basically, so, but anyway, uh, folks, super simple format, I'm gonna go over there, I'm gonna try out food and or drink items for you, whilst I'm doing that, I'm gonna MRI about it for a bit, whilst I'm doing that, I'm inside the truck, and whilst I'm doing all that, I'm wearing grody work clothes. Typically, if I'm inside the truck and I got, I'm got wearing the grody work clothes, that means that I was on my way home from work and I found some shit to review for you. That's kind of the case today. So, what is it that I'm reviewing for you? Why is it a secondary review? What's what's going on with the whole thing? So, I got off of work. That's definitely the case. And I don't just wear my work clothes just out and about. <laughs> I don't like to do that. They grody. But, uh, I mean, I, keep, I clean them every now and again. But, you know. But, no, so... I went over there, I got out of work, and I was like, you know what, I'm a little bit hungry. This would be a good opportunity for a review. So, I went over there and I was like, you know what, Taco Bell has new breakfast tacos. It's been a while since I've reviewed a breakfast item from Taco Bell. Let's hit it, let's go do this. So I went over there, I drove to the Taco Bell that I usually go to. Not open. I went through the drive-thru, the drive-thru was completely down, there were a couple cars there, but it was clear nobody was there. So I was like, alright, 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 sometimes, sometimes I know they have trouble keeping staff for the morning. I was like, that's fine. I'll go to the other one. So I've got another one nearby. So I went over there, I made my way, I drove by it, and I could see flat out. It's like, nope, there ain't no, there's no living thing in there. I was like, fuck, man! How are you gonna do this? Like, you have a breakfast menu... But then you don't have people, and it's like, like, I'm not trying to harp on anybody. I know that, you know, there's still a lot of places struggling to keep people, uh, you know, for certain positions and stuff. So I was just like, fuck it, man. So I went over there, and I was like, well, there's a 7-Eleven right nearby. So, what am I reviewing for you folks? Well, you better believe it's from 7-Eleven, because it's BOOM! It's the Baja-style torta from 7-Eleven, which... Consists of turkey, ham, pepper jack cheese, pickles, and a spicy Cajun style, or Cuban, sorry, Cuban style mojo dijonese on a Talera style roll. And it cost me $6.99. Now I'm going to be just right there with you folks. Why is 7-Eleven selling a torta? Now the answer to that is the same one as the, when they went over there and sold a Bon Mi. For one reason or another, every so often 7-Eleven just decides that they're going to go over there and piss off some group of people by bastardizing, you know, one of their dishes. Here we go. To be fair, it might be good, I, you know, but come on now. Why does 7-Eleven have a torta? Alright, well, it looks like... looks like this. I mean, there's a decent amount of meat in there. Let's try to get a, uh, a decent picture for the, for the thumbnail. For the thumbnail! Ha 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 Sure, why not? And there's definitely some pickles in there, which doesn't say... Nothing about this seems particularly torta-like. But, let's give it a go, folks. I will try one with the pickle. Most likely the pickles will be gone after that, because I don't... Not only am I not a big pickle fan, I'm definitely not a big fan of 7-Eleven pickles. Yeah. Mm. It's okay. Um Those pickles got to go, though. If Here's the thing. Like I said, I'm not a big pickle guy. But the thing is, if you use good pickles and you use them in the right place, I'm perfectly fine with them. The problem is, is that a lot of times you just, especially fast food places, they're just shitty little sock pickles. 7-Elevens are even worse than that. They are just, 
you don't even get any of like the actual nice aspects of the pickle. It's just that like, you know, sour kind of taste to it. It's just, no, I'm sorry. Pickles have to go away. They just, yeah. Um, I mean, I will say this about the pickles. For those of you who might want to try it with the pickles. Uh, the 7-Eleven pickles aren't good. They're just not. Even if you're a pickle fan, I think that you should probably avoid the 7-Eleven pickles. I always do, anyway. But, how's the rest of the sandwich, Brandon? It's fine. I'm not really getting much of a torta aspect to it. Like... The only two things in this that basically change it from being effectively just a club sandwich that you can get at 7-Eleven anyway. Um, one is just the bun, which, yeah, I mean, it's got a little bit of a different texture. Um, it's not a bad, it's not a terrible bun for what it is. The other thing is, of course, the Cuban-style Dijonese. Now... That gives a little extra personality, I guess. Problem is, are those two things enough for it to be called a torta? I don't know, because I don't know exactly, like, the specific definition of, like, okay, when is it, a, when does a sandwich become a torta, when does a torta become a, you know, just a typical sandwich? How does that whole thing work out? I will say this. I've had tortas. You've seen me eat tortas. I have reviewed tortas, uh, at least a couple on the show. I can't think of the name, but it was like from a proper awesome little Mexican place that I need to go back to and review more stuff from. Uh, you know, so I've reviewed tortas. This does not come off to me like a torta. Now, maybe it is in terms of strictest definition. I don't know. But I am fairly certain that if you went over there and you ordered this from any proper Hispanic establishment, and this is what they brought out to you as a torta, there's no way that, like, the guy who isn't making the food in the back isn't named, like, Barry Stevenson or some shit. You know, like, there's no way that, you know, it's just, yeah. Fundamentally what this is to me, this is a very basic bitch sandwich. Like, it's fine, but it really is just, it's, it's a... You know, again, it's basically just one of uh, 7-Eleven's other sandwich offerings. Just, oh, the bun's a little bit different, and we put some Cuban-style Dijonese on, <clears throat> excuse me, on it. I mean, no. You know, because if I'm just reviewing it strictly as a sandwich, it's fine. The, for what it is, you know, I don't, it doesn't have a lot of flavor, you know, it is a pre-prepared sandwich, but, like, the sandwiches that you get from 7-Eleven aren't awful within expectations. Uh, there's some flavor there. The Dijonais is a nice addition. Gives a little extra sauciness to it. But, that said, is it enough to offset the very basic aspect of it? No. It's a very okay sandwich. And I emphasize sandwich, not torta. This to me does not feel like any torta I've ever had. Tortas are wonderful, delicious, decadent things that are just, they're a special thing, man. You know, it's like, if I, there's, because there's, there's different definitions of different types of sandwiches. Obviously, I do sub sandwiches quite frequently. When I want a sub sandwich... I want a sub sandwich. That's what I'm going to go get. If I want a torta, that's what I'm going to go get. This is not a torta. I ultimately have to gauge it not only just as a sandwich. Again, as a sandwich, it's okay. It's not horrible or anything, but it's very meh. I also have to gauge it as a torta, and as a torta, it's not even fucking... It's not a torta! It's just not, you know? And I, I think that 7-Eleven, you know, I, I can give them credit for trying some new things, but this has just got to be one of their laziest versions of things, because again, it really is just very similar to their other standard sandwiches, just slightly done up in a certain way, and I really do think they should probably stick 
kind of stay away from trying to do, like, the cultural foods things. It's like, look, man, like, y'all had a uh, fucking Diablo chicken sub. That was actually pretty good. You didn't really fuck with it too much. It was pretty decent. I reviewed it, by the way. Just stick to stuff like that. Just take what you have and make it a little wacky. Don't try to add in other people's culture into your, you know, your bullshit. I just, I don't, yeah. Anyway, um, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? No, no. Again, if I want a tour time, I'm going to get a proper tour time. Maybe I'll go over there later. Probably not today. I have a couple things in mind that I'm probably going to review today. But, like, probably sometime this week, maybe this weekend, I will go out and get a proper torta and I will review it. Because, again, tortas deserve to just be, to be celebrated for the wonderful, you know, aspect that they have. This isn't that. Uh, if I'm recommending it to anybody else, though, if you just want a sandwich, it's fine. But then if you want a sandwich... 7-Eleven offers various kinds of sandwiches. This one is one of them. It's not a torta. Please don't let this be your first experience with a torta. Please don't think that this is a proper torta. It's just a sandwich. It's not a terrible sandwich. It's not their best sandwich. It's not their worst sandwich. Egg salad sandwich. No. I like egg salad, but don't get the 7-Eleven egg salad sandwich, man. I've never not regretted that. But for this, I, I can't recommend it. Again, it's not a horrible sandwich, but you can get better sandwiches, and you can definitely get fantastic tortas that are way better than this. Anyway, five things before I get out of here, folks. Uh, wait, no. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. Spend your rest of your month. Spend your rest of your month. Do you want to go over there and have yourselves a truly proper torta-tastic rest of your life? Folks, cake is, again, it's just a wonderful thing. Final two things, number one, try to bring some positivity in the world as long as possible. It is, however, always appreciated, but what do you do if you can't do all the time? I know I can't do all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me, I know it. I live it. I'm out there with you in it. It's frustrating, man. Life can really just be, you know, it can be a pain. You know, I was at work. I was having a pretty decent night, you know, and then... You know, sometimes you go over there and, you know, something happens or somebody rubs you the wrong way or whatever and it can kind of fuck up your night, you know. And you got to go over there and you just got to deal with it because you can't just be going around being a giant asshole about stuff. It's important when we run into those situations. <sighs> Take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholeness in our lives. Hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there. Maybe you're going to watch this. And maybe as you're doing so, you are eating this torta. It's literally in your mouth. And the saliva is doing its whole thing. It's a whole thing. And maybe just midway through, you're going to be like, well, I feel bamboozled now. Because clearly, I am not getting a proper torta experience. So you're, you're going to finish it, okay? Because you're not going to waste the food. All right? And it's not terrible. You're going to finish it, and then you're going to go over there. You're going to find, like, an awesome little Mexican spot or, you know, a little Hispanic spot, what have you. You're going to go get yourself a real torta, okay? And you're going to go over there. You're going to try it. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be delicious. Tears are going to come to your eye. Rainbows are just going to start sprouting out of everywhere, man. It's just going to be, it's going to be fantastic. And you're going to go over and you're going to hit me up in the comments on my next video. And you're going to be like, Brandon, I tried a real torta. And it was the best torta ever. And, blah, 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 and you're totally right. I know. But you don't, you don't. I'm a, I appreciate it, but you don't have to tell me. I already know I'm always right. That's why I do this show, because I'm always right. Or conversely, don't listen to any of my pompous nonsense, but absolutely get yourself a proper torta.